Dozens were killed in a string of attacks in Iraq Thursday, and yet another sign extremist groups linked to Al Qaeda are making a resurgence in the country. The United Nations also says that violence in Iraq in 2013 soared to levels not seen in years. Our Kim Minji has the details. A suicide bomber driving a car full of explosives killed at least 12 people and wounded 25 others in Iraq Thursday. The bomb went off outside a car showroom northeast of Baghdad. No group has claimed responsibility for the attack. Violence has intensified since April after the Shia-led government carried out a deadly crackdown on a Sunni protest camp. Tensions were further fueled during the past week following the arrest of a senior Sunni politician by authorities and after police dismantled a Sunni protest camp killing at least 13. On Thursday, al-Qaeda militants took control of almost half of the cities of Ramadi and Fallujah in Ambar province, where heavy fighting has been raging since Monday. In a separate attack on the same day, a truck bombing claimed the lives of at least 19 people in a city north of Baghdad as security forces and allied tribesmen clashed to put down an uprising by al-Qaeda-linked militants. In another attack that day, a minibus exploded, killing four and wounding six in Baghdad's Shab district. And earlier in the day, a roadside bomb exploded inside a street market, taking the lives of four people and injuring 11 others south of Baghdad. Earlier this week, the United Nations said over 7,800 Iraqi civilians were killed in violent attacks in 2013, the highest annual death toll in years. Kim Min-ji, Arirang News.